North Fayette Valley Tiger Hawks open up at South Win on Friday night. Justin Hines is the head coach of the Tiger Hawks. And coach, uh, you've been at it uh, for about three weeks now. Uh, what's made you most happy in practice to, to this point? Um, I'd have to say our scrimmage on uh, Friday night with Mac Valley, just um, really encouraged by a lot of the things we saw um, on the way guys stepped up. And you can tell that they've grown from last year and um, and mindset and the ability and um, just uh, had a bunch of guys carry the ball really well and a lot of guys uh, fighting for their spot. So it was good to see. What's the advantage to facing someone uh, else as compared to holding an inner squad scrimmage the week before uh, the game start? Yeah, we talked about that as a coaching staff afterwards. You know, you can go against the same guy, you know, in a, you go get some in practice for three weeks, you go get some in a scrimmage, it's live, but you know what to expect out of that guy. And um, you know how hard you're going to have to work and kind of what he's going to do and what you're going to do. And um, just going against that, that guy you're unfamiliar with, and you put that little bit of unknown in there with their offense and, and their defense, and you don't know that guy. And it just adds that little bit of, little bit of extra where you, you find really find out a lot about yourself. What would you say your main strengths are at this point? Um, I would have to say our, our team speed and some of our playmakers um, will be a big deal for us. We're not real big, um, so we'll have to use that, um, those things to our advantage. What uh, area needs the most growth right now? I know uh, football coaches will always say you need to get better in every area at this point in the season, but what area needs the most gro growth right now? Yeah, I would probably our, um, our defense back seven. Um, is really inexperienced, not, I mean, they're all upperclassmen and um, a lot of them have played and even started varsity games, but um, not many. And a um, few of them might be in a few different spots than they're used to. So, um, you know, they'll grow there and they might have a little bit of learning curve right away, but I think we'll be fine, you know, come a few games. And, and I know uh, you do have uh, some players uh, to replace, uh, at least on the stat sheet uh, from last year. Can you take a situation like that and turn that into a positive, knowing the fact that uh, kids have to compete for time and uh, there's opportunities for there for them to do so? Yeah, absolutely. You know, most of our most of our carries and tackles and all that graduated with us last year. And um, uh, like you said, there's there's opportunities for these guys to break in there. And by showing us that they you know could carry it on Friday night, then you want to trust them more once uh, once this Friday night comes. South wind going to be your opponent uh, coming up on Friday night. What do you expect out of the Warriors? Yeah, you know, they kind of surprised us last year, switching offense and jumping in that flex bone. And um, so we'll be looking for some, some more of that. But um, we expect a solid, you know, good coach team. And um, it'll be a good battle. And I know uh, you kind of got that rivalry uh, restarted last year. And uh, you picked them up uh, again for this year two-year district cycle how important was it to keep that close in uh, upper Iowa conference rivalry going yeah especially for those first games you know you never know how far you're gonna have to travel for your district games now so for the first games we like to keep it close and um, had agreements with South Wind and Sumner and we're hoping to get independence but um, put us with Postville too so three close games these next two years and um, really those three games mean nothing come playoff times and district times so you can you know, you can play other guys and then figure out who can help you and, and, and where they can help you too. So. All right, coach. Uh, hopefully uh, you can get the season off to a good start Friday night. We wish best of luck. Sure. Thanks, Darren. Justin Hines, head coach of the North Fayette Valley Tiger Hawks. They take on South wind Friday night.